Oh, yes. <laughs> Welcome back. The Boone County Library is in the house, and we want to talk to uh, Jean. Uh, oh, Hank it. Uh, you know, I tell you what. She's Della, you, because she's in yeah. the class. <laughs> and I said I didn't even really know what her first name was. And, I thought it was Della. Yeah, and th that's right. You says her name's Jean. Yeah. And Tina Farmer's here from ah. the Boone County Library. How are y'all doing? We're Good. doing great. Good. And w you, the newsletter just came out, and we want to talk a little bit about that. You've got a full schedule going on, don't you? Yes, we absolutely Are you overwhelmed? Do. Yeah, of course <laughs> I am. <laughs> Every day of my life. But you know what? Um, we've had a great summer break. We had a wonderful summer reading program, and then we took a, a couple of weeks off, about three weeks off. Mm -hmm for everyone to just kind of chill down and now we're mm -hmm. back up and mm, we're full course, force yeah. and and we've got the uh, the uh, reading time and the story time I've got I better get it right it's with Miss Irene and her reading time is every Wednesday morning and that starts at 10 o'clock and then story time is for the little ones like from little bitty in the carriers to mm -hmm. three years mm -hmm. old and she does a great job with them and that's on Thursday mornings at 10 o'clock and then the youth programs they've started back on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4 okay. and then uh, I get to do like the I get to do the adult programming so that's really exciting to me I've only been there about three months so it's good. pretty exciting good, good. Nice. Now, are any of these programs paid for I mean do you is there any entry fees or for, I mean, for people to yeah, people to participate. Wanted, yeah, to participate. It doesn't cost anything. Oh, it doesn't ever cost anything okay. at your library. Okay, I just want to make that clear because Absolutely. a lot of programs during the summer cost money, but uh, the, no, the Boone County library. library never charges. Or, okay. We never charge for anything. We just want you to come and, and be right. part of your community. Mm -hmm. Well, the library for so many years, for a lot of uh, generations, has, has been a focal point of the community, and it's, it's good that it continues. And you have with you Tina Farmer, who I, I bet you you have something up your sleeve. I do. <laughs> and we'll come back to you, but what well, do you got? What well, do you got going on, Tina? I tell you, September and October is looking good for the genealogy department. Um, the Boone County Genealogical Society is hosting Kathleen McMurrin. She'll be uh -huh. speaking on exploring our patriotic ancestors. And Kathleen um, worked in the department before I came along. So okay. when she decided to retire... I moved from the downstairs circulation desk and went upstairs to the genealogy. So Kathleen's the one that taught me what I know uh -huh. about the department. Okay. She's a wonderful lady and a wonderful speaker. So come out and listen to her. It'll be Thursday, September 14th at 5.30 p.m., exploring our patriotic ancestors. And then um, in October, the 12th of October, we'll be hosting Susan Young from the Shiloh Museum at Springdale, and she's going to be doing World War I in Arkansas, the home front, oh, wow. because we're still commemorative year for the beginning of right. World War One. So that, and it's mm, going to okay. focus. To my understanding, I asked Susan if she would do just a special one for us to focus here in this region of the Ozarks during World War One. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, and I don't know if you all have heard of the Slacker Gang. They were some. Uh -uh. Of, mm -hmm. They were in the Cecil Cove. They um, refused to go to the war, and it's about the government coming in or attempting to come in to take them out of Cecil Cove in Newton wow. County. And Is this uh, the Cecil Cove that has a trail right now? Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's it's a lot. It's a very interesting well, history. Yeah. So if anyone's interested in learning more about that, come visit me at the library. So, so the, the talk is on, on history, but it's basically about our local, local. Yes, ties, our too. Yes, local, our local ties oh, here on the home front. Yeah. Cool. Neat. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And I'm also trying to um, start classes once again on beginning genealogy. So if they're interested, give me a call at the library and I'll now, put them on you, our list. When you say classes, what... Do you go through steps of genealogy? I do. I take from work? the very beginning, you know, absolutely nothing. You don't even have to have been on a computer ever. Okay. Just come in and I'll sit down. Um, we'll work with on how to use ancestry, how to use now, books and research and interlibrary loans, okay. microfilm to okay. get someone started because okay. it's, it's a fun hobby. Yeah. It's a very fun hobby. Uh, but, but you don't have to be a, uh, it's not about Boone County ancestry. It's, no. it's Traces Worldwide, your interest yes, wherever, it wherever it ends up. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can see okay. what immigrants you came yeah. from. So you not only have the access of the Internet and computer, you, you still, like you said, use microfish? Yes, and yes, you can use films. microfish or microfilm. Um, we can get it from other repositories and libraries. As a matter of fact, um, back in the spring, I got microfilm from Boston, and it was on Sanborn maps of Boone County. And, of course, I didn't have any in our collection, so I just sent off, got the microfilm, 
printed out the Sanborn maps. Um, I don't know if y'all are familiar with what Sanborn no, maps no. is. Okay. It's an insurance company that came in and they mapped out your town where everything sat for insurance purposes. Oh, oh very wow. nice. And yeah. it is. Cool. You can look at Boone County or you can look at the city of Harrison and the city of Alpena in 1960 and then I think I have like 1939. Wow. Hmm. That's and this cool. is prior to the flood that we uh -huh. had in 61. Right. So yeah. So Neat. I now Thanks to Microfilm and another library willing to share that. I yeah. have that on file. Well, we were talking before the show, and you said that sometimes you get lost because uh, it's so interesting. It is. <laughs> <laughs> As I was confessing to you, all I may get an, a request for an obituary, and I go, the Microfilm will, I have to read Dear Abby, and then I'll look over for the obituary. And it's just interesting. Dear Abby in 1970, Dear Abby in 1985, mm -hmm. how things have changed. Mm -hmm. Things have changed, yeah. and opinions have changed, too. Uh-huh, very much. So what else do you all have going on as far as the library in general? Well, you know, we've got programs for the adults on Tuesdays and Thursdays starting at 5.30 in the afternoon. I'm sorry that folks missed the one last night. It was really good. We had a crayon artist there, and she, she taught us. Oh, how, really? It looks like oil painting. When she gets done with something, her name's Heather Murray. It was just really good. Wow. Um, now, this program is happening when? Um, Thursday, September Thursday 14th. Okay. Um, now, this next week, we've got the uh, Night Owl beating with Casey Dean, and she does she just does a do-it-yourself beating program. This time, she's going to do some earrings with us, and it's always fun. Everything that, that is going on uh, there, just like you said, Dan, is free. Mm -hmm. uh, that means it's in my price range. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, sure. And, yeah. and I get to have a really yeah. good time with them. Yeah. Uh, we've got a lot of other things coming up. We do have the two book clubs, one meets. Uh, at noon on uh, 920 and of course our our evening book club that uh, that's happening tomorrow night we've got something called the have you heard of the kindness rocks project or the the Harrison rocks yeah have you heard uh -huh. of that one uh -huh. okay well we're gonna do that we're gonna do that on 921 we're gonna paint rocks and then we're gonna put them out in the community Neat. and I'm looking so forward to that I'm probably gonna just be a mess with it but I'm looking forward to that also did you know that uh, this is um, a couple of, of really interesting things uh, this this month has the um, band books week in it you ever heard of that mm -hmm. the band books okay well that's September 24th through the 30th and there's a lot of books that have been banned over the years okay. that people wouldn't even think about. Alice in Wonderland, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. was banned back in the day. Okay? Wow. I know. And uh, Grapes of Wrath, we know about that one. Mm -hmm. It was banned back in the day. So there are a lot of books today that are actually challenged. And uh, a group of people get together and they challenge them and that could become a banned book. So we want to make people aware of that. And we're going to have a program on that, that is on uh, 928. Yeah, it really is. On if uh, if you have a copy of the newsletter or if you'd like a copy mm -hmm. of it, you can uh, go to our website. It's on there. Or if you'd like it to be emailed to yeah. you, just uh, and that's how I get mine. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Okay, good deal. All right. Well, um, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank y'all you you for dropping Thank in. You yes, for absolutely. Us. And if you want to uh, join the genealogy, that starts on Thursdays. You say? Uh huh. Thursdays at five. Um, It'll be Thursday the 14th at 5.30 uh, will be our, uh, our program. And will there be sessions or? Okay, for my beginning class, um, they need to call and get registered for okay. that. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. So all they right. call your, your... And the number the there is what? 741-5913, option four. We'll get option to my department. number four. Mm -hmm. All right. Could I share one more thing, Yes, then? sure. Go ahead. Okay, so September is actually a Hunger Action Month. And we want to do something at the Boone County Library to help our community. Mm -hmm. okay. So what we're doing is we're accepting food donations for children's charity ministry. And that's things like ramen and, and pool tab foods and single serve cereal, things okay. like that. And you can drop it off there and, and we'll be giving them to CCM. They do okay. a backpack program there. Yes. For yeah. Kids there. yeah, the backpack program comes out of children's charity mm -hmm. ministry. Right now they're doing seven different counties. They serve a lot of kids. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. awesome. Jean, Tina, thanks so much Thank for being you here. Very much. Appreciate it. But one more time, thanks. We'll Thank see you. you tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Up next, uh, Jim Bumgarner is going to be here. He's going to be talking about the Daily News Hour and how that's going and and how you can start watching it. We'll be talking with him in a few minutes. Stay with us.